I'll praise it to you, how I sing you, how I sing you, how I sing you, how you, how I sing 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 you, how I the words of Malcolm X range true, but it goes further than what uh, he actually thought it was. He said the media, the media is the most powerful entity on earth. They have the power to make the innocent guilty and to make the guilty, make the innocent guilty and to make the guilty innocent, and that's power. So they control the minds of the masses. Now this goes along with uh, uh, many biblical references, and uh, it's not only due to the media. The media is just a manifestation of the power that was given to a nation. Because it's bigger than just uh, this media. See, because the Chinese have media. The Indian people have media. Uh, the Pakistanis have media. Media. You see, the Russians have media. The uh, Europeans, uh, the Germans, the Polish, the French, the Spanish. All these people have media. But the main media that's been... Uh, used to pretty much gain the power of the minds and gain to the, the, the confidence of the people is the American media. And when you look at Rudders, Rudders is one of the main media outlets and they have um, like six companies that pretty much operate out of um, the rudder situation. But this all goes back to the scriptures. And it's mainly about the nation that holds this media in their hand. So when you're going to Genesis, go to the beginning of the situation. Let's get 27 and 38. So when you look at this nation that I'm talking about, that's holding the power of the media. Verse 38, uh, it says, Esau said unto his father, has thou but one blessing, my father, bless me, even me also, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. 39, and Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above. Verse 40, it says, And by thy sword thou shalt live. Now, this sword goes into a weapon. And it says, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, meaning the rulership, that you shall take, that you shall break his yoke from off your neck. So this dominion, this rulership that was given to Esau is that he would be ruling by the sword. Now this goes along with Revelation chapter 6, verse 4, describing the nation of Edom, or the nation of the children of Esau. It says, and there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. So this power that was given to the nation of Edom is what we experiencing through 
the media, and it says they shall, and that they shall kill one another. World War One, World War Two, Revolutionary War, Civil War. It says, and there was given unto him a great sword. So a great sword was given to Esau. That's why it during when Isaac stated his blessing, it said that thou shalt live by the sword, or by that sword thou shalt live. So this is what is understood when it comes to Esau, but it's talking about power being given to them. And that power that was given to them, that's what helps them control the media the media or that that's what makes their media successful. Because the Lord has given them power. Now we go into um what eighteen twenty twenty three it says uh I'm gonna just get the B part. It says for thy merchants were great men of the earth for by your sorceries were all nations deceived. See those sorceries is talking about the media. See they deceive men with their media. Okay. And this is what Malcolm Max was talking about in second Corinthians four and four. It said in whom the God of this world, meaning the the ones that have the power over this world have blinded the minds of them that believe not. That's the light of the glorious gospel of Amashiach, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So, this power that rules this world is the nation of Edom. And they are blinding the minds of the people through their media and their television. You see, and so this is what they do. Now, when you go into Second Thessalonians, the second chapter, he tells the uh, tell about this nation. He said, verse three: Let no man deceive you by any means. And the means that they deceive people is by the television, the commercials, the movies, the sitcom. Uh, the documentaries, anything that they can come up with on their television, the the news, the daily news, the night nightly news, or whatever kind of news, they gonna try to deceive people. And then he he say he goes on to say, for that they shall not come except they're coming falling away first, and that the man of sin uh, be revealed, the son of perdition. So he's going to reveal these Edomites. Look at what it says in verse 9. Even him who was coming is after the workings of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. See, they're going to have all kind of powerful signs and lying wonders. Making people follow them and believe what they're saying. Because it's, they, you know, it's a bunch of lies. And so, pretty much, what the next verse, verse 10, is saying, with all deceivableness, see, they're going to be doing some deceptive things, and all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. So, the people that's pretty much uh, not going to make it, these dragons going to eat them alive with the media. They're going to totally control them with their media. They're going to believe everything they hear. And so, this is going to the fact that the, the, uh, the, the Edomites, this is what they're doing. And then we got Malachi 1 and 4. This is, whereas Edom... Talking about the so-called white man. We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus is the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them. And the whole nation of Edom, the border of wickedness, and the people against the Lord 
against whom the Lord have indignation forever. So these are the people that um, God is hating forever due to their lies and due to them uh, being wicked and murderers and liars. Rape, robbing, and murdering everybody's land that God gave them. Y'all got to go behind in there and you're messing it up. Um, so Malcolm X, he was right on point when he said what he said. This is the most powerful tool Esau and the nation of Esau can use against uh, the prophet, but only the unrighteous would be deceived. That's what it said in Daniel 12 and 10. The wicked shall not understand but the wives shall have an understanding. And so, um, some people have straight up said it, cut that TV off, so they're going to brainwash you and pretty much contaminate your thoughts with their lives. But I'm going to leave it there. All praises to your house, I'll send you how it's shine, but I'll send you a copy of The bonus to the elders, twisting the truth, peace to be black, worldwide, our kingdom in their hand. Shalom. Thank you.